Hampshire Junior Academy. I'm Mrs Waldron, Head of School, and this video is here to tell you everything about life at the Juniors. I'm Mrs Clements, I'm the Deputy Head of School, and I work all across from Year 3 to Year 6 as well, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all in September. You will shortly be finding out which class your child will be going into and who their teacher is. In class one, they will have Mrs. Vara Morphy. Class two, Mrs. Lenahan. Mrs. Lenahan is also the year three lead. And class three is Mr. Haston. Children will enter the school from the large playground at the year three door. Every morning, there is always a member of support staff there to take any messages that you might need to pass on to the teacher or providing any information about your child for that day. The school day begins at 8.45. There is a warning bell shortly before that where staff will then make their way to the door ready to greet the children. When the bell goes, the doors will open and they will remain open for all children to come in and close at 8.55. It's at that point when the register is taken. It's important that you remain with your child until the bell goes. Please do not leave children in the playground unsupervised. The school day finishes at 3.20. The uniform that is to be worn is very similar to the infants. Same colour of blue, which can be a jumper, a sweatshirt or a cardigan. We request that they do wear black, grey or brown sensible shoes, no trainers, sandals or any kind of strappy flip-flops. PE kit is a white t-shirt, black shorts or leggings with black pumps, no trainers and we do not allow jewellery to be worn. Any religious jewellery must be covered up with a sweatband. Earrings should also be removed. Please, please can you ensure that all uniform, including PE kit, is labelled with your child's name? This is really, really important. So many pieces of uniform are lost each year because there are no names labelled in them. You may be wondering, what will my child learn in Year 3? Well, we do follow the National Curriculum and we also do a learning challenge just like the infants. The overviews for this are detailed on our website, which is www.devonshirejuniacademy.org. Here you will find other links to useful information. When children start in September, they will receive a number of logins to help them with their online learning. These will be accessible at home. And these are things including Times Table Rock Stars, Spelling Shed and Purple Mash. The ways in which you can really help your child is by listening to them read. Reading is so important. They'll also receive some occasional topic work to complete at home. This might include something to help them prepare for their new learning challenge as they go through the year. Your child will come home with a homework diary. And this is where you can log when you've read with your child and make comments to say how well they're doing. Please can you sign the homework diary every single week. Lunch and snacks. Children can have dinners or sandwiches. Unless you are eligible for free school dinners, you now have to pay for hot dinners. 
The government do not fund free dinners for junior children. We do not accept cash for dinners. You must set up a direct debit with school grid. Our caterers are dolce. School meals cost £2.30 a day or £11.50 a week. All dinners must be ordered online, at home, as you do in the infants. For snack, children may bring their own healthy snack to school or they can choose to buy a healthy morning snack at break time. Please do not send children with sweets or chocolates for snack. For a drink, children should bring water or a water bottle labelled with their name which they can fill at school. Please note we cannot accept glass bottles, cans, energy drinks or fizzy drinks. School fund, trips and clubs. School fund helps to pay for extras for your children. For example, visitors to school and other experiences so that we aren't asking you for money all the time. We do ask parents to pay for school trips. We usually run a variety of clubs. Some are free and others are paid for. For example, if we have to pay for a specialist teacher. They are available on a first come, first served basis. For trips and clubs, we would prefer you to pay online through the School Gateway app. However, any money brought into school must be in an envelope labelled with your child's name, their class and what it is for. Keeping in touch with your child's learning and activities is really important at the juniors. We would like you to get the School Gateway app. This will allow you to stay fully connected to your child's life at school, wherever you are, via your phone. You can download the School Gateway app from the App Store. You will receive a variety of emails and messages through the School Gateway app. And finally, we know that this can be a very anxious time for your child and for you. Please try not to worry. I can assure you that we will do everything we possibly can to make sure that all of the children are settled and happy and have a fantastic start to the juniors. As you know, all children will be back to school in September. Just before they are due to start, we will be sending out information about what will happen when they return. Please ensure that you check your emails regularly to see if there is any information that you will need. In the meantime, I wish you a wonderful summer and I look forward to meeting you all in September.